I mean, the concept of gift, gift economy is something that uh, I had been exploring, and it's part of life here. It's a simple chart that shows various stages of growth we undergo. And in that process, the nature of exchange itself undergoes change as we evolve. So you can see, first is the child state or stage in which we receive in order to grow. Our primary mode of exchange is of receiving. And as we grow and become an adult, we learn to trade. We give something in exchange for what we are receiving. And as we grow further, we become parent, a position where we give unconditionally. So these three stages simultaneously exist in all of us, but in different stages of growth, one or other dominate. So growth is common for individuals as well as for organizations. For example, in order to start an organization, first of all, one has to receive. It is more of investing before it produces something, creates something. So that is the childhood stage in which it receives in order to grow. And then as it grows, it starts generating its own wealth through trade. That is the adulthood. And as the adulthood reaches the maturity, comes naturally the next stage of giving something in return to the society. So we can see third stage evolving in the world where we can see big corporations setting up various foundations to help the world in various projects, funding across the world. You can see Microsoft and Bill Gates, the richest man who generated so much wealth through trading later sets up foundations to donate money across the world to fund various projects. Similarly, Google. They too have set up to support various projects. That is the sense of being a parent, responsibility, taking up responsibility for various things that is beyond the trade, traderhood. Though on one hand there is trading happening, and the other hand this part grows as you grow and become an adult. So here is again in the pie chart form, the childhood is dominated by receiving mode, whereas the trading and giver aspects are very minimum. But as you grow, the trader aspect start emerging and receiving aspect goes down. And further down in your growth, the giver aspect start growing, where all three gets balanced. One can go further in this parent aspect of giving exploring the aspect of giving where there is discovery of the joy of giving and also the experience of abundant returns for what one is giving. When you give unconditionally, there is a discovery that there is an abundant returns to it, even when you are not asking for it. That is the turning point where the gift economy truly begins, where the abundance of return and the multitude of ways in which the returns come back to us, even when you are not expecting anything, that is where the gift economy becomes something mysterious and deeply satisfying.
autonomy that one is involved is no more based on calculations. Though you may have accounting which is necessary for knowing what is happening in the system, but the way things are set in motion comes from this deeper need to give and be in that flow and for the very joy of giving. And the returns are more subtle but deeply satisfying. Something that enriches inwardly, builds you inwardly, nourishes you inwardly and also the society in which you are involved. What is emerging as open source movement is a glimpse of what is coming. The future economy where there is a deeper spiritual foundation to it, though it may not have been articulated or been made conscious, but there is a deeper aspiration within humanity that is manifesting in this form, which is forming now communities across the world, creating wealth and moving into a higher mode beyond competition, beyond struggle. and wealth that belongs to everyone, nourishing everyone, and recognizing the creativity of in the individuals. The creative potential is being unleashed, and whoever has the capacity to give more are recognized, becoming leaders. And it's not those who amaze or, amaze or gather, accumulate more, who are respected. It is those who give more who are respected. And it's a very different type of world that is emerging. So this movement, we can see Linux as the flag holder, or synonym of this particular type of development, though it is now spreading into many other fields. But Linux became the leader in this movement. Apache Foundation and this new browser, Firefox, all that are being created now by completely different way of working together, being together. And this is something fundamentally different from the old way of doing things.